Hey folks, welcome back here to the Biggest Don Channel. We're here in the Valley of Fire on an unnamed road near Overton, Nevada. The Valley of Fire is a state park here about 45 miles northeast of Las Vegas. It's a great place for a day trip. If you uh, get tired of throwing money into the machines at the casinos on the Strip or at Fremont, great day trip out here along with Mount Charleston and Hoover Dam. I get I get a lot of comments from people asking about day trips from Vegas. So I uh, wanted to be able to show you some of those. And we have the uh, Hoover Dam and Mount Charleston videos also in our library. Feel free to check those out as well. Do a search for Mount Charleston and Vegas Don. It should bring it up. dip in the road here. I bet it floods here when it rains. No parking any time. Rocks have changed color it looks like. Now they're like a white versus the red we've seen in the other parts of the park here. New Jersey heading the other way. That's a drive. Especially when near Vegas. Never want to be in the red on when you're on the strip or at Fremont Street. Or at any of the casinos outside of town. Outside the strip or Fremont, I should say, on the periphery. Go where the locals go. You can Google those locations. never had a sponsor on here, so all of the opinions I give are all my own, completely unbiased and honest. Look at this rock face here in front of us, that's cool. Shoulder just drops off there. No guardrail, no nothing. Bye-bye. They got this parking area cordoned off here. All these concrete barriers here. More red rocks in the distance coming up. Folks like to get out here and explore. Despite the heat. they've ever mined out here and what they would have found if they had. And the road is closed. Well, there was no warning about that. Thanks for that. Well, the road is closed, guys. Turn around area only. No stopping, no parking, no nothing. Well, we're going to take a moment here and just show you the, uh, the western 
view here of these rocks. Make a slow U-turn here. Show you these rocks. This would be a rock climbing Jeep, Jeep Jeepers dream. Jeepers, is that a word? If you have a rock climbing vehicle. But I don't think they allow that sort of thing out here. There was a 2% chance of rain in the forecast earlier. I see some pretty good looking clouds on the horizon out there. So I guess those were the six, no, I don't know what that was called. Those mountains right there at that dead end. They should have had a little sign up or something. Because now I forgot. <laughs> Growing up in Florida, everything is flat, right? So flat, 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 flat. So when I came out here out west for the first time, I was like, wow, look at this. Mountains? What are these? I was just in awe of everything. I first went to Reno and Lake Tahoe. Fell in love with Tahoe, my goodness, how could you not? and then came out here to Vegas like eight years after that. Saw the uh, attractions down on the strip and then down uh, Valley of Fire in here and Red Rock, Hoover Dam. It's like, wow. The only times you have a view in Florida are when you're in a high rise. I remember my grandfather always saying that when when you're in those high rises down there, especially on the beach and a hurricane comes through, you're just gonna be swaying in those winds. I don't know, I don't think that's a thing though. in here. Temperature's popped up to 115 now. Parking area, parking lot number two here. Definitely a very good day trip from Vegas. Especially if you're into nature and, or maybe even geology. I remember taking geology class back in high school and I was like, why are we talking about mountains and rocks? Because we don't have those here in Florida, at least not the mountains. You know, so, young and dumb and uninterested in it back then and now I find it fascinating.
Dunes. That's got to be really cool to see with the rain falling off of these big rocks. It never rains for like, it very rarely if ever rains for like an entire day out here in the desert, or in Vegas for that matter. It's one of the things I do miss about Florida. The rain or a rainy night, nice hard rainy night. Some rocks here on the side. I've had some viewers ask why I left Florida. Crime, traffic, cost of living always comes down to those and I might even add the weather to be honest because you really only have like one season all year and then you have like maybe two weeks of fall maybe and when I say fall I mean like temperatures you might get down in the 40s down in South Florida Now certainly North Florida gets down near freezing, but I lived in South Florida, so. The only time it snowed in Florida, in South Florida that I know of is 1977. It's a big deal. I was just a little, little guy back then. Valley of Fire! so cool. Down Mouse's Tank Road. It's the name of this road now. vegetation up there too really cool stuff please do like follow and subscribe to us on youtube and tiktok if you haven't already it helps recommend us to other viewers and the algorithm the algorithm is really what carries your the weight of your voice to other viewers so please do like follow and subscribe and also check out our merch merch available on the uh, youtube we have these awesome vegas don gear shirts and hoodies sweatshirts etc with the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. You have Christmas coming up, maybe for something for yourself or your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. Thanks for coming cruising with us.